Hi everyone, it's Sonia from Angel Light Healing. Thank you so much for joining me. This is your general angel card reading for today, Thursday the 4th of July. So as you can see, I've already gone ahead and shuffled the cards for you. Um, and I've already intuitively selected the cards to be interpreted for this reading today. So as I usually say, just take what resonates and leave the rest. Not all of the messages that come through are meant to be for you. So just take the information that does and um, yeah, leave the rest. If you are after your own general um, reading or twin flame reading, get in contact with me at angellighthealing at outlook.com. Okay, so the cards that I've used today are the Archangel Oracle cards, the messages from your angels, angel therapy, well, um, a message card here from the Heart and Soul deck, the Butterfly Oracle cards, the Magical Unicorns, the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins, and the Romance Angels. So as you can see, I've already used quite a few card decks to bring forward some messages for you today. All right, so let's get started with this reading. The first card is you are stronger than you know. Okay, so for some of you, you've been doubting your strength. Um, perhaps you've allowed fear to um, overcome your emotions here. So they're saying it's important that you believe in yourself, believe in your strengths, and also to believe in your abilities here. You've got this. You've got the power within you to make the changes that you need to make at the moment, okay, in order to promote um, more strength, more success within your um, job or yeah career um, they're saying here it's important that you stand on your own two feet and you stand in your power so don't give your power away to others or situations okay just be kind be gentle and be patient with yourself also because it's a pink card a pink um, flower sorry there okay the next card is emotion so for some of you you've been um, feeling quite emotional, perhaps your emotions have been up and down like the waves of the ocean here. Um, it's important here that you're not pushing yourself too hard, that you're really listening to what your body's telling you. If your body's, you know, saying, I need some time out, I need to, you know, retreat, then take that time to do that for yourself. Give, give back to yourself and nurture yourself and your emotions. For some, there may be um, emotions that are resurfacing for you. This can definitely be connected to past hurts, um, you know, past relationships, love, whatever it may be. They're saying that you have the strength, you know, to deal with these emotions now. And there's a reason why they've come up for you because you can, you, ha you have the power within you to work through them and to release them. Okay, the next card is very soon. What you're asking for will happen in, soon in a happy way. So this is a great card. Again, um, it's about you standing on your own two feet. Um, one step at a time, okay, is what I'm picking up here. You know, the sun is setting in this card. Um, so just one day at a time here. They're saying that what it is you've asked for is coming about. So have faith, hope, and trust in yourself and the universe that your dreams and desires are being worked out for you and they will be delivered to you. So again, um, for me, they're telling you to pay attention to the signs. These could be butterflies as well. Could be symbolic for you. <clears throat> the next card is synchronicity. Yeah, your prayers and questions are being answered by synchronistic events. Notice them in order to increase their flow. So for many of you out there, you've been receiving signs from the universe. This could be in the form of animals. As I mentioned, butterflies. This could also be um, angel numbers, feathers, songs that are, you know, symbolic for you. Um, yeah, it could also be anything that you have asked for. Look, it could even be a car um that is catching your attention so they're saying here that the universe again is asking you to have faith and trust that everything is being worked out for you okay and um it's important that you do notice these signs you're paying attention to the signs because as you do you are also bringing this more and more into reality for you so your dreams and desires are coming true Okay, the next card is gifts from God. We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. So with this card, they're saying to you, yep, we, um, we have what you're asking for. We're asking you to pay attention, to notice the sign. We're asking you to be open here to receiving our gifts. 
okay so the gifts look the gifts can come in many different shapes or forms it could be a new person coming into your life who's going to give you a new perspective um someone who's like-minded as yourself it could be um presence you're receiving from others it could be you know again the signs the animals um there could be a new addition coming into your home here could be definitely be an animal could be another child um but they're saying that the universe is giving you the gifts that you're asking about and it is a cup and this is um, a golden opportunity as well so there could definitely be an opportunity for some of you to um, get that promotion to increase your business someone has a gold cup here that they're wanting to give to you this could also be a an award of some sort some sort of recognition for all of your hard work okay so just take it how it applies the next card is career transition Okay, your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. So for some of you, you've been focusing on making a change within your career. This could also represent a promotion within your current job. This could be totally something new. Um, perhaps this is a new business venture, you know, coming into partnership with someone here to bring your dreams and desires um, into fruition. This could also be you starting a new project. So for some of you, you've definitely been considering starting something new and now's the time before this Mercury retrograde takes um, play. The next card. Bethany, when you take excellent care of yourself, everybody benefits. Give yourself a relaxing treat today, such as a massage, a sea salt bath or pedicure. So as I mentioned earlier, it's important that you're listening to your body, your body's needs, what it's telling you, what it's asking from you. Again, I said with the emotions, don't push yourself too hard. They're saying it's important that you have balance in your life here, okay? So um, for us here in Melbourne, Australia, we're on school holidays at the moment. So take some time out, you know, um, spend some time with your children or just take some time out for you know, five, 10 minutes, read a book, um, enjoy a bath, go and pamper yourself, do something for yourself. Okay, when you um, are looking after yourself, it's it's exudes from your being. And it's also an attractive quality so that people become attracted to you. Okay, because you're coming from a place of peace, you know, you're feeling at one with yourself. Um, and people do pick up on that energy around you as well so please I understand for those parents out there who are focusing on the children but please don't um, please stop and take some time out for you too because you do deserve it you work so hard as well you all do the next card is be willing to forgive ask the angels to clear your mind and body of past pain in exchange for peacefulness so I did mention before for some of you there may be some um, past emotions that are resurfacing for you and they're asking you to be willing to forgive the person the circumstance you know the conversation words that were spoken whatever it may be please forgive that person you can do this by writing them a letter you can do this also by forgiving yourself for some of you you're holding on to guilt here look at the red coming out of you know this angel's hand so for some of you you're definitely holding on to guilt from past relationships from past um, situations but they're saying now's the time to heal because this angel is wearing green so ask Archangel Raphael who is the Archangel of healing to help you to heal yourself to heal this situation okay but green is also symbolic of your heart chakra so this is definitely to do with um, you know hurt from past loved ones okay the next card is Archangel Michael. Beautiful. You're working very closely with this powerful Archangel who's protecting and guiding you through this situation. Okay, Archangel Michael is the Archangel of Protection. So he's definitely surrounding you, your loved ones, your home, your work. He's surrounding you, um, giving you the protection you need. But Michael's also here giving you the courage and strength you need at the moment. We did get that, you know, strength card at the start. Um, this can also represent a Leo for some of you. Um, but he's helping you to cut these cords that are attached to you that no longer serve you, are no longer useful to your being. Now, these cords are definitely connected to your emotions. So he's helping you here. 
If you are wanting to do a meditation, that's a great way of cutting cords. You can do this and look up videos um, on cord cutting. So that's a great way and a healing way to let go of and release the old. Okay, so the next three cards are from the Romance Angels. I will flip them over. Yeah, so for some, um, definitely you're healing some family issues here. Okay, this is about dealing hurt that's connected to loved ones. This can also represent you losing a loved one and you're still grieving and healing from this. Okay, so there's that card there. The next one, yeah, look at that. Forgiving and learning under the forgiving card. So definitely for some of you, you have some forgiving to do here. Okay, it doesn't mean that you need to forget what actually took place, but it's, it's more for you to forgive and let go in order for you to move on. Okay. And the last card for the Romance Angels is calling in your soulmate. For a lot of you, you are on the twin flame path here. So, you know, a lot of you have been praying for your twin flame to um, reconnect, perhaps, to communicate or to come into union. Look, guys, I feel there's a powerful change coming here. I keep seeing the triple fives. When I see triple fives, it represents change is coming and it's going to come in a big and positive way. So for a lot of you, your twin flame is coming back. Okay, so it's important that you um, visualize this union, that you visualize um, the love that you both share, you know, pay attention to all the signs, the synchronistic events. It will be happening very soon. I am picking up on that. Um, but a lot of you still have some healing here to do and forgiving. And this forgiving can definitely pertain to this twin flame, this um, divine masculine or divine feminine however it applies to you. But I feel like some of you or your divine partner is still working on healing their family issues. Okay, this could be to do with karmic relationships, you know, separation, divorce, whatever it may be, and this will involve children as well. Okay, so the last card is from the Heart and Soul deck. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the hearts in the trees. So for a lot of you, I'm picking up here, it's important that you're spending time out in nature, that you're, you know, hugging a tree. Trees hold so much beautiful energy. They help to ground your energy. And, um, you know, trees provide oxygen for us. It's all about breathing deeply in nature and really getting grounded. But the message from this card is saying, every relationship goes through changes, but this does not mean that the love has gone. Let this be a time of reflection. Some adjustments may be needed. Perhaps a new purpose needs to be discovered. It may feel cold and lonely, but beneath the surface, the earth is warming to the promise of spring. In the meantime, express how you feel gently, lovingly, and honestly. Let yourselves be vulnerable and hold each other tight, just like the trees are holding each other tight. Okay. So for some of you, you're definitely going through some issues in the area of relationships. It could be to do with family, definitely, healing family issues. It could also be to do with um, a lover, a love interest, a twin flame, or whatever it may be. So they're saying here, take some time to, you know, reflect on the past. It's time for forgiving and learning here and growing as well. All right. But it's also important that you're open and honest um, and that you're expressing, you know, how you feel and being vulnerable as well. All right. So that is your general reading, angel card reading for today, Thursday, the 4th of July. If you are after your own personal reading, get in contact with me at angellighthealingatoutlook.com. Thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel, Angel Light Healing, and for liking my videos as well. Many angel blessings to you all. Thank you.